Uh, thank you for the question. Azmeco is proud to be uh, one of the first big private initiatives in Azerbaijan and uh, heading towards becoming the uh, largest uh, privately owned entity in Azerbaijan. We have uh, actually the same challenges as many smaller, much smaller players. And of course, uh, any company in a non-oil sector in Azerbaijan is strategically important for the development of the country uh, as a whole. And uh, the challenges are uh, typical. We have uh, uh, people capacity and people capability and human capital issues. We have uh, legislation and uh, uh, a, a lot of uh, issues with, uh, related with the government agencies and the collaboration of the state with private uh, companies. And, uh, these, these are things that we should continuously work, be working on. Uh, and the more com companies come uh, into the business uh, which is outside oil sector, the better for all of us. This conference is focused on the Caspian Corridor nations. What about the, your neighbors to the north and the south? What business opportunities are there for you in Russia and, uh, and Iran to the south? Well, you know, Azerbaijan is, is specifically situated. The situation, the, the place uh, is, is amazing. We can do business uh, and link businesses uh, across the whole region. And for us, uh, Russia and Iran are two big markets just nearby uh, for uh, production of any retail goods, or consumer goods. Azerbaijan is a perfect location. You can uh, feed uh, to Russia, South Russia, or to North Iran. And these uh, two uh, large countries are uh, uh, open for collaboration. And uh, even now, though there are constantly issues with uh, Iran and sanctions around Iran, uh, we still find a lot of ways to do business with our southern neighbor. So it's really exciting that uh, now Iran is opening more, and uh, we are just there to use this opportunity. When it comes to financing to develop your business, what attractions are there for coming to a place like London with its pool of capital as opposed to finding maybe more strategic investors either within the region or in the East? Well, funny enough, all these strategic investors are here too. Uh, and London is a place where you uh, have so much people uh, concentrated in one place that you can do uh, one uh, stop uh, shopping and just uh, find whatever you need in one uh, particular city, which makes London very competitive uh, on the international scene with uh, New York, Hong Kong or any other regional center. Uh, uh, but uh, unfortunately, not uh, a lot of people are able still to travel here from remote parts of our region. Uh, that's why Moscow as a, a regional hub is still very pretty much uh, efficient. You can find people from all corners of the former Soviet Republic in, uh, in one uh, city. Uh, but uh, uh, doing a conference here every year helps our group to uh, shape the, uh, the whole year for us. We know that um, uh, each year we will have new people to meet and new opportunities. What are the key challenges facing your business for the next five years? I think uh, the challenges are still the same. Uh, our region is underpenetrated and there is a lot of services and goods that are uh, not available. Uh, there is uh, a massive issue with human capital. I mean, business is done by people and uh, if you don't have people, it's, it's very difficult. Uh, and uh, also, still, there are, uh, of course, some political risk across the, the uh, region. And unfortunately, uh, as we see, there are constantly uh, conflicts around uh, different parts of the CIS. However, being a local business, businessman, we uh, find a way how to mitigate these risks and how to even leverage on the fact that this is an underpenetrated region and uh, some big companies find it too risky to come. So that's why we're there and we make our margins on that.